Hi, I'm Kirk Jowers, and welcome to the April 8th Frequently Asked Questions episode with Dr. Russell Osgathorpe, MD. Hi. In an effort to keep these FAQ episodes under three minutes, I have two questions today. First, why are face masks effective? Okay, so to answer this question, um, I'm gonna go to the science. So in a recent publication in the journal Nature on April 3rd, a study was done to compare viral particles in the air based on the size of the particle uh, in the air from infected COVID-19 patients who were either wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. So what they did is they sampled the air around an individual wearing a mask who was infected with COVID-19 and then they sampled the air around the individual who was wearing COVID-19 when they were not wearing a mask. And when a mask was worn, the number of viral particles, whether large or small part viral particle, were decreased significantly when a mask was worn. And so this is some of the data that was used to change the recommendation around masks. We know that by wearing a mask that we will effectively decrease the viral particles in the air that could potentially infect another person. Okay, thank you. So does, do the changing recommendations from the CDC and, and others uh, for wearing masks in public now mean that we know the virus is airborne? No, the virus is not an airborne transmitted virus, and okay. that is not why the recommendation was made. Viral diseases that are airborne in nature, like measles, chickenpox, or varicella, um, or, ba or bacterial infections like tuberculosis, have very high r naughts meaning that the number of susceptible people who get infected by one person who's infected with that disease are very high. Measles is 18, varicella is 10, for example. This virus, COVID-19, has an r naught that is around 2 mm. and 2.3. And that number is not typically the type of number we see with airborne transmission. Scientifically, that gets to the size of viral particle that an infected individual sheds when they speak, breathe, talk, cough. Um, and the smaller the particle, the more likely that that particle of a correct size can move through the air, stay viable in the air, and then infect an individual, mm -hmm. uh, even after you've left a room, for example. Mm -hmm. um, these particles that COVID-19 makes are in general large particles. And that's why we feel that it's mostly droplet and contact spread, meaning within a six foot radius, the viral particle that I shed is coughed, lands six feet from me, and either infects somebody within that six feet or lands on a surface that I then move that viral particle to me and get infected. Excellent. Thank you so much. And on Friday, April 10th, FAQ episode, I'll ask Dr. Osgathorpe whether the coronavirus can spread through water. Thank you for being with us and thanks for watching.